One, before the gods awake. <clears throat> it was the hour before the gods awake. Across the path of the divine event, the huge foreboding mind of night, alone in her unlit temple of eternity, lay stretched immobile upon silence march. Almost one felt, opaque, impenetrable, in the somber symbol of her eyeless muse, the abysm of the unbodied infinite. A fathomless zero occupied the world. A power of fallen, boundless self, awake between the first and the last nothingness, recalling the tenebrous womb from which it came, turned from the insoluble mystery of birth and the tardy process of mortality and longed to reach its end in vacant naught. As in a dark beginning of all things, a mute featureless semblance of the unknown, repeating forever the unconscious act, prolonging forever the unseeing will, cradled the cosmic drowse of ignorant force, whose moved creative slumber kindles the suns and carries our lives in its somnambulist whirl. Athwart the vain enormous trance of space, its formless stupor without mind or life, a shadow spinning through a soulless void, thrown back once more into unthinking dreams, earth wheeled abandoned in the hollow gulfs, forgetful of her spirit and her fate. The impassive skies were neutral, empty, still. Then something in the inscrutable darkness stirred. A nameless movement, an unthought idea, insistent, dissatisfied, without a name, something that wished, but knew not how to be, teased the inconscient to wake ignorance. A throw that came and left a quivering trace, gave room for an old tired want, unfilled, at peace in its subconscient moonless cave, to raise its head and look for absent light, straining closed eyes of vanished memory, like one who searches for a bygone self and only meets the corpse of his desire. It was as though, even in this noughts profound, even in this ultimate dissolution's core, there lurked an unremembering entity, survivor of a slain and buried past, condemned to resume the effort and the pang, reviving in another frustrate world. An unshaped consciousness desired light, and a blank prescience yearned towards distant change. <clears throat> 